Hello friends, Miss Natalie here, and I am going to show you how to use the line tool and the polyline tool in Krita, or Krita to get nice straight lines. The first thing I'm going to want to do is go over here and select the line tool. Come on. Well, it should say its name, but the line tool is the one that looks like a line. Aha, that's easy. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is choose my brush preset. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one, which is the basic. There it goes, B basic one. Um, and then I can get started. When I am drawing with the line tool, I want to click my uh, mouse button, the left mouse button, hold that down and drag to where I want my line to end. Um, and then release when it's where I want it to end. Now you, this is a really thick line. That's because up here my line side is 25 pixels. If I wanted a smaller line, I can use the up and down, or the down button. If I want a bigger line, I can use the up button here to make it smaller. That makes it one pixel smaller at a time. Say, like, well, yeah, that's fine, but it's like really slow. Another thing you can do is click on the bar to, uh, you know, up and down to make your pixels all, uh, all <laughs> lines all the way. Uh, you can see a thousand pixels down to 0.01 pixels. Um, the one thing with this is that it's, it's hard to be precise. So if you want a precise number, I would click on the bar and then type in the number and hit enter, and that will give you the exact pixel size that you want. We'll show you again. Now I have a 10 pixel line that I click where I want it to start and hold down, and then I can make it at an angle, I can make it vertical, horizontal. The thing I like about the lines is you can see the guide will be perfectly straight if it is perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. So it actually makes it really easy to make parallel or um, and perpendicular lines um, that are perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. Now, one of the disadvantages of just using the line tool to do that is that, oh, this isn't too bad. Um, I've been practicing a lot, but you can have these weird like overlaps or gaps if you don't get it exactly the right distance away. So the tool that solves that problem is the polyline tool. It makes you basically make a multi-part line that can go at different angles. So here's the polyline tool. We'll click there. And with the polyline tool, you uh, just click your mouse once. You don't hold it down to start. Just click it once. You draw your line to wherever you want the next section to be, and you click it again. Then you can draw the next section of line and the next section, and you can just keep going until you are ready to stop. And then once you've drawn the last section of the line that you want, you hit shift and click your mouse and there you go. You've got your shape and it works with straight lines. This is all straight lines, but it's really nice. So I could make, uh, wait, I just clicked and click and click and click back up there. And oh yeah, that's right. If you go back to your original point, it will fill it in for you. So if I want to make a, uh, or I shouldn't say fill it in. It will it will end the shape for you if you go back to your original point, and you can see that it shows you that original point as a circle. So that is the line tool and the polyline tool. I suggest you uh, go try them both out and have some fun, and you can try some of these different brush presets while you're doing it too. Okay, go make some digital art.